that I'm about to ask you right, right now. So today we're talking about tower and schools, grants and churches. And Ramona Big Eagle is is gonna share some of her expertise with us. So Ramona, the first question is how how did you get into tower? Um I'm trying to figure out how to <laughs> turn the light on. Is the light fine on here? Can yeah. you see your yeah. eyes? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm hot. Let me take my jacket off. So how did I get into towers? Oh, I know how I did. Um, I had a four-hour layover. I think I'm pulling my shirt off. Wait a minute. I just want to take my jacket off. Got it. I had a four-hour layover at O'Hara Airport. Okay. And so, you know, when you got a four-hour layover, um, I was just walking around in and out of shops and stuff. And at one point, I looked down this hall and I saw all this light. I mean, like, like huge mega light coming up at the end of this hall. So I, you know, I'm the curious type. I want to know what was causing it. So I walked down the hall and it's like you went around a curve. And when I, when I went around that curve, there were these tower gardens every place. All the lights were up in the ceiling and all these tower gardens full of green, luscious, foliage and leafy food and I didn't know what the heck it was I mean I'm going what in the world is this and then the oh, chef yeah. came by yeah and the white jacket the big white hat and this big huge stainless steel bow and um I asked him what's what is all this what's going on and so he was the one that told me that the restaurants there at O'Hara Airport in Chicago owned these tower gardens and this is how they serve fresh vegetables to their patrons. I said, oh, I want one of these. And so I came home with the determination that I was going to get one. There was only one problem. When I got home, I couldn't remember the name of it. Okay. <laughs> so then fast forward, Denise um, Delia and I were talking one day. Um, she and I have been friends for like 40 years. But she had moved away to Asheville, then she'd moved back. So we were just talking and catching up. And I don't know if she said something about Tower Garden or about Garden or whatever. But anyway, when she said the name Tower Garden, I said, that's the thing I've been looking for. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so um, she said, well, I can help you get one. And she did. And, and then the rest is history. history. And how long has it been since you've been... Uh, I think I joined out. back in 2019. Okay. Okay. So not so four years four, four years, years, years ago. Okay. Four years. So when you when you saw the tower and you got your now, do you grow indoors or outdoors? Both. Both. I have one inside. I've got three just sitting outside right now. But anyway. Okay. And so then you you said, okay, I'm I'm getting these towers. Now let me ask you this. Do you mm -hmm. do you Focus on Juice Plus at all because I know you do a lot of towers. I do. You do. Because okay. My, my upline do it. I I love playing follow the leader. Okay. So she does. So I do. So I do. What I learned to do really, I, I'll be honest with you. I used to just focus on towers, and that was it. Yeah. Um, now I do towers and Juice Plus. Juice Plus. Yeah. When I came into the business, it was uh, towers for me too. So then, how when you saw the towers? Did you immediately say, oh, I want to get them in schools or churches? Or what was your approach? Or what did you think? What when I first saw everything mm -hmm. and got into it, I didn't want to do any of that. I mean, okay. there's still a little part of me that don't want to build a team, don't want all the stuff that goes with it. However, <laughs> I love it so much. Okay. Now, and, that, and that's the thing. Like Denise said, okay, well, which one do you want to get first? Because I know you're going to end up getting inside and outside. Okay. And the whole thing was, I said, no, I'm just going to get my tower guard. I'm going to grow my own food and live happily ever after. You know, I'm a storyteller. So I told her, I was just going to get my tower guard and live happily ever after. I did not know that I was going to love this thing so much. I had no idea it was going to change my life. It literally changed my life. Um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2017. So see... And so I stopped eating on meat, dairy, and um, sugar. And um, I was buying groceries from Whole Foods. But, um, you know, that was like 400 and some dollars a month. Whole Foods and trade, um, Trader Joe's, you know, whole paycheck and Trader Joe's. 
uh, trading your money. So I just, I mean, you know, I, I was looking for something else, a way to get all those organic fruits and vegetables without paying 400 some dollars. So the Tyragon just made sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I beat cancer. I don't make any claims, no income claims or health, healing or wholeness from tower guards. But I will say my experience has been that I uh, was told I had to have surgery and um, chemotherapy, and I did not do that. I went the route of no eating meat, dairy, sugar, processed food eventually. I didn't start off with no processed food, just no meat, dairy, and sugar, and went on to processed foods too. And as a result of making that drastic change because of a drastic diagnosis, I didn't have to have any chemotherapy, no surgery. I beat cancer because I changed my diet. I stood on the word of God, like Isaiah 53, 5. He was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquities and chastised when my peace was upon him and with his stripes I was healed. I stood on 25 scriptures like that. There were healing scriptures. I changed my diet. And I started doing Juice Plus, growing my own food and eventually add the Juice Plus to it. That was okay. it. Now, with, um, so we know you love it. Now, I love you, it. You love it. So now are you helping get towers into schools? I'm helping everyone to get towers into every place. Into like, every place. So what's like, your approach? Okay. Your so approach? for instance, today was perfect. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm a storyteller. And I'm a legend keeper for the Tuscarora Nation of North Carolina. That's the tribe I'm from. We have a reservation in Maxton, North Carolina. Anyway, so this month is Native American Heritage Month. So I'm just, if I seem a little hype to you, I am just so hyped. Okay. That's because I've been doing programs every day. I'm frazzled. I can't wait to December gets here. But I love the money I make in November. Don't get me wrong. But anyway, so today I did a program from eight. Union Academy Charter School in Monroe, North Carolina. I had to drive an hour to get there just because of that. Okay? So, I do my program, and I'm not cheap. I charge $1,250 up to do a program for one hour. Okay? And these when were first. program? Well, what's a program? You the program is where I go and I'm dressed in regalia. Like, let me just oh, show you. Okay? okay, I get it. For, for, you see okay. that hat right there? Okay. <laughs> I go in with that and everything that goes with it. Okay? Got it. I regalia, okay. my Native American Indian regalia. So I go in with that. I put out enough artifacts that cover 12 feet of table, two six foot tables, and I cover it with buckskin dresses, beaded moccasins, um, you name it, ribbon shirts, everything, the drum, the shakers, the deer toe rattles, everything that totally wows them and makes them go, oh, wait. Okay. okay. So I do all that. So naturally, when I get through with that program, I am just the expert. I sell my book, Turtle Island book. I don't have it right here. I mean, I'd hold that up and sell that too if I had it. But anyway, Turtle Island book, before the program's over, I'll definitely pull that out. So you all can go on Amazon and order it. And even if you haven't read it, I can tell you the story and then you can give me a review. But anyway, so I sell the book. So by the time I get ready to leave, I'm the expert. I am the person. They are <gasps> so glad you came. We want you to come back. You came for our first grades. Will you come for our third and fourth and our seventh and our eighth and our tenth and our twelfth? I'll okay. think about it. Yeah, I'll come for them. So as I'm walking out to the car, if I say, you know, not only do I do programs, and I know this is a unique niche because I'm already there at the school talking to a person who just sits on the world's greatest thing. But there are all kinds of ways you can do that. You can go to PTA means. You can volunteer. You can take in a box of Krispy Kreme donuts. I know they're not healthy, but they love them. Take in a box of Krispy Kreme donuts and you become those teachers' best friend. Okay? So you get in and you meet a teacher and she loves you, you love her. And you say, you know, besides doing Krispy Kreme donuts, I also talk about nutrition. I know this wasn't nutritious, but I knew it was a way to grab your ear. And so you tell me, I, I do nutrition classes. And uh, I show people how to grow food on tower gardens. And I said to her, have you ever heard of a tower garden? She said, no, what's that? I take out my phone. I show her my tower garden. I said, this is in my kitchen. This is how I grow all my food. Said, Look, let me just tell you this. It started because the students told me they get, I asked what this big tent was outside. And they said, well, that's where we go and eat lunch sometime. That's where we have ice cream day. I said, what's that? She said, all of us eat ice cream outside. 
So I go, and she pointed where they got the ice cream from. They got all these ice cream bars. I go look at them, none of them were vegan. And by the way, this food was mixed. It was black, white, Latino, and native. So I'm knowing some of those black children there are lactose intolerant, but they had nothing to accommodate them. So I said that to the teacher. I said, I noticed all your ice creams. I, said, I didn't see anything that was vegan. You know, that's just a simple switch of from cow's milk to oat milk or nut milk. I said, you know, to accommodate that. And so from that, from that talk, I told her how I was plant-based whole food. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I went into, I show people how to do their own um, grow and I okay. showed her how to grow. And so she asked me, would you come back to our school to do that? And then she says to me, um, would, would we have to pay you the same amount we paid you for this program? Oh, <laughs> I wow. paid 1250 for that program. I said, no, it would be a lot less. for that. So, okay, so let me back up. So those that are listening, if you already have an in in two schools, then that really, really helps. So Ramona, when you introduce it to them and let's say they want tower, who who's paying for this tower? How do you get it paid for for them? OK, well, the great thing is all school systems have grant writers. OK, mm -hmm. might not be at that specific school, but the school district, the school system has grant writers and they're usually always writing grants because schools can easily get grants. They're nonprofit. They've got that target base of K through 12. I mean, it just, you know, which also lends itself to the family so they can always get grants and they know that, too. And there's billions. Did you all hear me? I said billions of dollars of grant money out there. Okay, So never think there's a shortage. You're not writing the grant, you're having the grant writer write it? Is well, that what you're I'm doing? saying that for them. I'm actually writing the grant. I'm a grant writer, and I love writing grants. But for those that think, oh, I could never write a grant. So I'm letting you know that the schools have grant writers, and they have money, too. You know, before you even bring up a grant or a grant writer, you know, you just, you know, tell them about it and say, I'm sure your school has funds that could um, purchase this. And then, you know, send them that um, a Stephen Ritz video, show them how students are loving it and tell them how, you know, this is going to increase the graduation rate, um, decrease the tardiness rate, decrease the low scores on tests, all of this because students are actively involved, kinetics, you know, hands on learning. They're actively involved. They're excited about learning. They come to school with wonder and curiosity, wanting to see how much the seeds they planted have grown through to the next day. So, it's so when you when you have them in the schools, who is taking care of them? Who is? And that's the tricky part. Somebody that's, that's there has got you. You know, this year I put mm -hmm. in about. Uh, 40 some grants, different places. I mean, 40 some um, tower gardens from grants, okay? Wow. Wait, 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 wait. You got 40 towers into schools or mm -hmm. into somewhere? Well, yeah, get, um, nonprofit organizations. Yeah. Okay, so, so I'm going to back up when you say that because that then includes churches too. So, yeah, churches, okay. wherever. Uh -huh. So, 40 towers placed because you wrote the grant. Is that what I'm hearing you say? You yeah, wrote? I like one grant wrote for 40,000. Okay. And that was to put Tower Gardens at a, um, it's a ministry that serves refugees. So it was a Welcoming America grant. Y'all go out there, apply for it. It's really easy. Nothing to it. Okay. And you'll get $40,000. So I applied for that. And so like first I put in 12, then I put in two over here, then I put in 10 over here, then I, you know, so just different grant, different power gardens in different places, all germane to that one grant. Okay. Wow. And, and, and so when you do the grants, I mean, you don't really have to do the grants. I'm telling you, you can just find the grants and give it to the teacher. You know, like teacher might say, we don't have any money. It's near the end of the year. Trust me around March, if you are an uh, uh, artist, I'm considered an artist, or anybody that goes into schools, a vendor, they'll call you up and say, we got some money left over. Usually around March, they figure up, see how much money they have left over. Okay, but now you go call on them all year round, even in the summertime. 
But I don't know why, but I get a lot of calls in March. Mona, we got an extra thousand dollars. Would you come and do a program for us? You know, we've got extra money left over. You know, so they have money. Who's do you just have to bring it to their attention? What's the use for it? So for people who don't have an in, what do you recommend? They don't have an in. So for like for the for like a partner who doesn't really have a connection to a school, do you you connection? Do you Huh? They got Krispy Kreme donuts, don't they? Oh, so should yes. you should they go and connect with the PTA? If, is yeah, that you can go to the PTA, volunteer with them. You can, like I said, you literally can take Krispy Kreme donuts for the teacher's lounge, put your name and card number all around the Krispy Kreme donuts, and they will love you forever, especially if you put coffee with it. Oh, oh my God. Got it. Now, okay, so when you did the 40... Towers, you wrote the grants, so mm -hmm. you you were able to write the grants, and then obviously they bought those towers from you. Of course, that's why I wrote the grant free form. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> and what was so because people that are not grant writers, though, is it? Yeah, you don't have to be because the school has a, if it if it's gonna take a grant. Like I said, the school's got money, but let's say they say they don't have money. Okay, mm -hmm. well, say well here, I've looked up um, school gardens for this state, and this is a list of 25 organizations that give grants for school guards. And every single one of you right now, can grab your phone, see that, that's the phone right there. Grab your phone, scroll up, so that you open it up, go to Google right now, watch your mic location. Thank you, Denise. Um, <laughs> okay, so go to Google. Can you all hear me all right? Uh-huh. Okay, so go to Google. Put in Google, school, okay, I'm slow, but school, school, gardens, garden, um, put before that, put grants for school gardens, grants, let me speak it, grants for school gardens in North Carolina, grants okay. for school gardens, in and put your state, put your Maryland. state down, okay, uh -huh. okay, oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Funny. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Two hundred and fifty dollars yeah. to five thousand dollars. Community and school garden grants in North Carolina. Each year, our U.S. stores and clubs award local cash. This is from Instrument.com. Local cash grants ranging from two hundred and fifty to five thousand dollars. These local grants are designed. Look at this. Are <laughs> are designed. Um, where I had to wow more yeah there were just grants all over the place y'all money 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 I money see. I see and I just pulled up from Maryland and you're you are correct they are like there yeah all over the place wow they range from like I said two hundred fifty to two hundred fifty thousand to two hundred fifty million government grants have two hundred fifty million that they're giving away. Wow. So wow, 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 wow. Let me let me do this. Oh, wow, me, backwards. Yes, it's a lot of wow. And I know, Teresa, I know you're here and I wanted to ask you some questions too. And I'm sure we're gonna run out of time. And I don't know if we could do a part two, but let me we open can. if we yeah, if we can, that would be good. I don't know if we could do part two next next Monday, which is the twenty seventh, because this this will end at six and I know we can really there's a lot to ask. But what I want to ask are those that are out in the audience, what question you want to ask Ramona? Because I have so many, but I'm sure you all have them too. So if you want to either put it in the chat or unmute, uh, and I will, if you put it in the chat, I'll ask. But, um, oh, one question says, what's for refugees, please? That That's a question. What's for refugees, please? What's okay. It's called Welcoming America, and it's a grant for welcoming refugees, immigrants, and migrants. That's just one of thousands of grants out there. So that was a grant I did to feed immigrants, migrants, and refugees. Wow. And so, Ramona, did you... Did you know how to do grant writing before you taught yourself or you just started doing it about the towers or how did you get to that? Um, I taught myself. I, I used to be a, 
I used to homeschool my children and had a home family daycare in my house. Oh, okay. um, so I could homeschool my children and still make an income. And okay. I saw this opportunity for a grant for playground equipment. I asked my three children, <laughs> what would you like to see outside? My son mm-hmm. had a basketball goal and each one named something. Then I asked the parents and I wrote a grant for all that stuff and we got it. That was the first grant I'd ever written. And I've been writing grants ever since. And that was back in the 80s. Okay, got it. So there's a question that comes up that says, um, oh, somebody answered it. How do you find grants for senior communities? That was just like that. Yeah, grants just- for senior communities in and put your state because you don't want to get a grant, get all excited by me, find out that it's only for Western New York. Yeah, and that was that was a tremendous resource just right there because when I did type in grants for school gardens, Maryland, surely a whole bunch of them came up. Wow. Right. And so you you recommend then first okay, this is my question. Do you what's what would be the first approach? Would it be trying to get the grant or would it my mama's calling me? Oh, I can't make it stop. Uh I'll call you back, mama. I'll call you back. Hi mama. Um, <laughs> I know I didn't hang up on her. I hung up on her. Do you recommend starting out just going into the schools and just trying to make that relationship or do you recommend which comes first the grant or the relationship with the school no it's what comes first the chicken or the egg but anyway really it was the chicken (laughs) that came first but anyway no it's, it's really easy what i recommend is anyone that's within 10 feet of you you talk to them and some of those people are going to end up being teachers uh huh. Yeah, okay. so just talk to everyone you come in contact with. Okay. Everybody okay. I come in contact with, whether they want to know or not, I'm going to talk to them. I'm and I just, it. you know, I, I just ask them questions and find out who they are. Where, how did you decide to come to North Carolina? I mean, I'm really always interested in that. So we talk and talk. And then they're going to ask me questions. My answer is always going to be Juice Plus or Tower Garden or Nutrition. Okay. My answer are always, I don't get if they ask me what kind of toilet paper do I use, well, you know, I use that one that doesn't have dyes because I found in my quest for health, <laughs> optimum health, you know, that, I mean, I don't care what anyone asks you, you can turn the answer around to nutrition, to health, juice plus, and tower garden. So I'm going to read some of the questions that are coming up out of the chat. And then I'm going to tell you guys, we, we, I think we're going to have a part two. Um, okay, so the question is, who manages the tower gardens once they're in the schools? Who manages? That's an excellent them? question. They do. They so do. What, and and in the grant, make mm-hmm. sure the grant they get, or if they already have the money, then it doesn't apply. But if they write a grant, or you write a grant, make sure you put yourself in that grant. Not only are they going to order the tower gardens from you, I've learned a lot this year. You're okay. going to put yourself in that grant as a consultant. So that when you go and do the training for the teachers that are going to have in their classroom and for the lead teacher that's going to be responsible for all these, you get paid a consultancy fee. Oh. Oh, yeah. Isn't that good? So they're Mm -hmm. ordering the tower gardens from you. You're the consultant. When you come in on a regular, maybe you come in every other month, stop eating while you talk. Is that what you said, Denise? Okay, I will. Denise said, "Stop eating like." <laughs> but I so, so if you, if you, gosh, there's a lot. What if you don't have time to be going into Betty School every other month? Man, you do what? You say what, what? are you doing? Okay, I mean, what if? I mean, that's a question. I mean, do you go? If in you don't have. Day? I mean, in other words, if we're serious, if you. Treat business like a hobby it's gonna pay you like a hobby if you treat okay. it like a business it's gonna pay you like a business okay. so if you tell me you don't have time I'm going what are you doing so what are you asking for the consultant fee whatever you want okay I think I'd probably be asking a lot but I mean you could go with like I don't know I don't I don't know example. 250 dollars an hour yeah, okay. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, $250, $250 an hour. Wow. Shame uh-huh. on you if you go less than that. Yes, Got it. totally okay. agree. Got yes. it. Got Thank it. you, darling. Okay, so let me finish going through the questions. So Ramona, look at your calendar and see if you can come back next 
Monday, because there's like a billion questions in the chat and we have like four minutes. <laughs> so, um, and then from this, and I don't know, because I'm, and then Teresa, I know you're out there. We just haven't, I mean, Ramona, there's so much to talk about. This is like extremely powerful, extremely powerful. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's see. Do you have schools available when, okay. So do you have to, do you have to have schools available when applying for the grant? So can you apply for the grant? And then no, no, no. Yeah. That's the second time I've had that question this week. Uh -huh. Like people have asked me, can I just go ahead and apply for a grant? Right? No, you got to do it in collaboration with, with this. a school. You got to have a teacher name that's going to be responsible. You got to put the, the principal has to sign off on it. Got it. Write a grant and then say, hey, by the way, I got a, a, you know, and I've even tried that right. I, I wrote a grant and just approached the school two days before the grant was finished and said, hey, you want a Tarragon farm? You know, that that worked, but it didn't work. Anyway. Okay. Got it. Okay. And it says, I think we, yeah, I know we need a part two. So if Ramona is available next Monday, we're going to do a part two. What's the date of next Monday? 27th. Uh, that sounds like a good day. 27th yeah the Monday because this is this is this is so wow this is so important and so informative and this really those that are listening this gets you kind of thinking about 2024 it's really positioned well to get you to think about what what to do in 2024 so I'm going to do the last there's so many questions I, I'm wondering if I could get this chat because um you can so save can. the chat, Robin. You can save I can. it. Uh -huh. How? How? Do you know how? Um, down at the three dots at the bottom on your white underneath of um the chat. You see uh -huh. those three dots? Click uh -huh. on that. Uh -huh. you see it? Save uh -huh. chat. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't see nothing to say save chat. I do. Well, it's after the smiley the face. Dots. Underneath I see the, the messages. You see the three dots? Uh, Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. Okay. Wait a minute. Save chat. It. Okay, yep. I do see it. And then huh. where's it going to go? Is it going to go? Um, That's a good question. It's going to go to your wherever your recording is going. Okay, good, 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 good. Because yeah, So, should, so if you guys are putting your questions, um, I will have the chat saved. So then when we reconvene, then we'll start with the questions that didn't get answered. Um, I, so, oh, I've got one last question, Robin. Is it time? Uh. Go ahead. Go with your go with the question. How, it's time. Ramona, yeah. how long does it take to write a grant? It depends on how much um you're asking for. Like a five thousand, ten thousand dollar grant, it might only take you maybe an hour or two. Oh wow. Or a fifty thousand dollar grant, it might take you three hours. For a hundred million dollar grant. Government grants are like that, 600 million, 100 million, whatever. What? It might take you a month or two or three. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank so, you. Really yeah, y'all. Like the um, Whole Foods, Whole Kids grant. That grant is 60 questions. And it's not hard at all. They just want you to be detailed about what you want. And it comes out February 1st and it's due March 1st or thereabouts. But it comes out in February and it's due in March. Whole Foods is Whole Kids Grant, and it's three thousand dollars for a school garden. Okay, wow. so we have to have the school in place first in red yeah. and before February first, because that's when we start working on that on that paperwork. If that's they right. don't a grant writer, okay, right. and they're going to write the grant even if they don't have one. They'll still write the grant. The teachers have been used to writing grants and stuff. They'll write the grant. But you make sure you help them with the power garden part because they don't know the power garden like you do. And you've got, got everything it. you need right there on your website. I saw someone said, um, how, how do we get a copy of a grant proposal for the tower gardens? It's all on your tower garden um, website. Everything wow. you need is right there. Wow. All right. So this was this was amazing. Thank you so much, Ramona. Go back to eating, Ramona, because we know you. <laughs> Can I eat now, Denise? Yes, yes. Let her eat. Let her eat. Thank so you. we're we're gonna um 
<laughs> we're we're gonna come back to Ramona and so don't be on here too early Ramona because it's at, it's at 8 30 not 8 yeah 8 o'clock I've been sitting here since 8 o'clock I know I'm like <laughs> I forgot Y'all give her a just a huge, thank huge you. Thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ramona. Thank you, thank you. So, and then you so much, Ramona. Yes, so Teresa, you, there's another uh, Teresa Lewis. She she's a wealth of information too. So we're gonna do part two next week and continue the questions. Um, I know this is this right. is phenomenal, but we, we wanna be respectful of Ramona's time and just keep it to 30 minutes because she was so gracious to share. Um, I can't wait to hear Teresa. I know she oh, on yeah. here somewhere, but we I mean, we just have a billion questions for you, but we'll we'll get to get to, hi, Kay. Hi, Kay. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get to it um, and Robin everybody yes. on here needs to be in position for next year yes. to be ready when that grant comes out in February make it a goal for next year yes. to do one, two, three, ten how many ever get ready and start working now we don't wait till February 1st right? but start okay. working think about who is at school who is at ministry who is that you know, that spot that you're going to go for. And you can start on it now. The yeah. grant, you can go see the grant from last year, all the questions, everything. You can start working on that grant now so that when it's due, when it's uh, when they put out the 2024 one, you've already answered 40 of the questions. Oh, right. wow. So you said it's all, it's whole food. Some of them save the questions, don't they, uh, right. Ramona? Hope they save it. your information inside the the platform where the grants are being uh, written, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yes. Whole Foods Kids grant, you said? It's whole Kids. It's, whole it's, Kids. It's from, so, you, you can go to Whole Foods um, website and then you'll see the Whole Kids um, school garden grant on the Whole Foods website. So mm -hmm. when we come back next week, also we're going to just talk about the resources because R Ramona said that you can find them just on Everybody Has a Tower Garden website and I don't mm -hmm. it sounds like there's more information than we even know right. so alright, so we're going to keep we're going to go, we'll see you guys, so come back <laughs> this, this will we'll finish this next next week uh, thank you so much Ramona, it's um, exciting yes. yes, I mean I, I get so excited because sometimes well I get excited because I'm like, what topic should we have next? And then sometimes I'm like, I don't even know. And then I'll just come across something. And I, how did I come across you, Ramona? I don't, I mean, you, you're always on here. You're here, but we didn't, I didn't know that you were a tower expert. It's because at the conference. I'm not. You, yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> um, you're an expert to us. <laughs> you're an expert. Because she was on the panel. She was yes. on the panel at the national conference and yeah. she's and she's like doing amazing things we have some amazing things going on at tower garden and it's because we talk so much about juice plus juice plus juice plus but there's some giants doing some humongous wonderful things in tower okay so y'all go 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 we'll mm. see you next week thank you robin <laughs> thank, thank you thanks robin thank you robin thank you thank you robin 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 thank you